Now, continuing coverage of the Wright State faculty strike. The faculty union and administration are continuing talks this evening, 24 hours after a meeting set the negotiating process for a new contract. Tunis reporter Kristen Eskow is live at Wright State with more on tonight's meeting. Mark and Brooke, the chief negotiator for the union, told me he was, quote, cautiously optimistic heading into tonight's meeting, but says faculty members could be back in the classroom as soon as Thursday. Now, this comes as the Wright State Board of Trustees announces they'll have a special executive session tomorrow. A second meeting between representatives for the faculty union and the Wright State University administration. This comes the day after a four-hour meeting that union officials say set up the framework for negotiations. There did seem to be an interest in trying to resolve these differences. The union's chief negotiator, Rudy Fichtenbaum, says his team prepared specific proposals to the administration for Monday night's meeting. We're going to offer the university some, I think, substantial financial concessions. Uh, and, you know, in return, we hope that they're going to reciprocate. Reciprocate, Fichtenbaum says, in ways that protect the union and quality of education at Wright State. University President Cheryl Schrader released a statement saying she was encouraged by the Sunday night meeting and looked forward to the negotiations. She said in part, quote, we value our faculty and want them back in the classroom as soon as possible. We know these uncertain times are testing everyone's patience and thank the university community for its continued understanding and civility. With the Wright State Board of Trustees special executive session now scheduled for Tuesday, Fichtenbaum says he's hopeful for an end to the strike. We all want this, you know, to be over. Um, it's just that, you know, we need a fair contract and one that's really going to protect students, protect the academic integrity of, of the programs. And the chief negotiator told me he's hopeful there would be substantial progress tonight, but wasn't sure if a deal would be made. But we're still waiting right now to find out what exactly is going on inside that meeting. No word of a deal just yet. For now, we're live in Fairborn. Kristen Eskow, 2 News, working for you.